Hey guys, so remember that triathlon I was training for? The Olympic try on October 3rd, which is tomorrow? Uh, yeah, it got canceled. Let me tell you about it. Oh man, hey guys, huge. What up guys, hope you all are doing well. Good to see you all again. I haven't done a vlog since my end of week three Rick vlog. It's just been really busy and haven't really been able to put time into making a video. So that's why I'm just doing this run vlog today. Just wanna give you guys an update on what I've been up to. So week four, I got my first COVID vaccine. Thankfully, I only had soreness in the arm, no fever or anything like that. But that week I just did one light bike ride on the Peloton about three days later after the vaccine. The next week, week five of my training program, I sound like I'm really out of breath, so sorry. It's uh, really humid out and I'm not too in shape either. So week five came around and I only did one open water swim and one Peloton bike ride as well. I've been really enjoying the Peloton. I'll do a whole separate review on that, but it's really been awesome lately. And then that weekend, my brother came down. It was his birthday. We also attended a wedding, so didn't really get good, good sleep was out late for a few nights. Didn't get the train other than the one swim and bike ride that I did. So at the end of week five, I also went onto the St. Anthony's Triathlon website and saw that they canceled the race. I had no idea. They canceled it on August 27th, which was two weeks earlier than when I just went onto the website to, uh, you know, see if there's any updates on the race. Last week, they emailed us one week before the race saying, hey, the race is canceled click here to get your refunds or transfer to next year. So the race is canceled. I'm not knocking St. Anthony's try. I just wish they would have sent the email earlier, like the day that they canceled the race. I could have, you know, updated my plans for the race weekend and stuff like that, but whatever, it's all good. I had a decision to make when uh, I found out the race was canceled. Either one, continue training as if I'm gonna do a race that weekend, or two, don't train at all. And if you follow me on Strava, you can probably already guess what I did. <laughs> I did not continue training as if I had a race on October 3rd. What I have been doing is doing about two workouts per week, one run and one Peloton bike ride. And I've actually been playing a lot of pickleball. Like I've been playing pickleball for the past four weeks, like one time a week. It's a really, really fun sport. So yeah, the race would have been tomorrow. And it kind of made me think like, without any races on the calendar, I'm pretty inconsistent with my training throughout the year. You know, if I don't have a long-term race coming up, I'm all over the place with my training. I really want to finish 2021 strong. So I have three things that I'm going to focus on for the rest of the year. One, it's my swim stroke. I feel like I've plateaued swimming for the past couple years. So really going to dial in and analyze my swim stroke to make it better. Number two, I'm going to focus on strength training just kind of build my body put on some muscle <laughs> lose some fat and get ready for hopefully a really really strong 2022 and what was number three one of my goals for 2021 was to do a sub 20 minute 5k i don't know how possible that's going to be but i am going to sign up for a 5k at the end of december so i think about next week or in two weeks i'm going to really start trying to get my 5k down i'm going to focus on speed and strength this month or the next couple months as well as my swimming so those are going to be my goals for the rest of the year i want to finish 2021 really really strong and i want to take you guys with me so thank you so much for watching today stay safe out there happy training and i'll see you in the next one